tech it. Red set. Stack and tech it. It's going to be the first one. And then go up to the top right here and click download the launcher. Then get the launcher for your operating system. And that'll go ahead and download. Of course, I already have it because. I just do. It's right here. Just launch that. Then you want to log in with your Minecraft account. Um, most people don't have the console, but I have it there because I like having the console and being able to see everything that happens. Then once you log in, you can just pretty much pick any mod pack you want or even add a new one and play it. Hit play, it'll start downloading everything you need to play it. Up here you'll see like settings, useful stuff. Um, you can pick from all the necessary things. It doesn't have every feature that every setting you need, but it has the useful things. I recommend allocating at least four gigabytes of RAM if you have it to spare because mod packs and texture packs on the mod packs can get pretty intensive. The next thing you want to do is download the texture pack. Just type in these facts. Their website's changed a fair bit, so I don't even know if the links on my old video even work. You want to open up downloads and patches. On the downloads, you want to go down to the right and click pure BD craft. For Minecraft. Download. You don't want the one for 1.7.2. At the current time, the Tekka Classic Pack is still on the 1.2.5, 1.3.2 version of Minecraft. So you have to go down and click this. This is what you want to get. Texture packs. Well, the ex mod, the mods and patches only work for up to 128 by 128. So if you want to do more than that, you're out of luck or you can have untextured mods, which is disgusting. The next thing you want to go and do is download the mod pack. Now, the mod pack patch. They've updated their mod packs that they search, that they, that they have support for, which is fantastic. There's a lot more. You can mostly thank the Yogscast for that. Unlike Take It Classic, which is one that this tutorial was for originally. Things like Feed the Beast, they're on newer versions of Minecraft. For instance, 1.5.2 is for Die Wolf 20, which is the Feed the Beast mod pack that I sometimes play. So you want to download the version for 1.5.2. So for the Tekka Classic one, after you've gone to this page, you want to click on Patch Details. Scroll down and get the classic patch for the texture pack that you've decided to download. I got the 128, so I'm going to get that. Okay then, after you finish downloading, you'll be left with two files. This one, and this one. You want to open up both of them with 7-zip, Limra, free 7-zip because it's free, and it's awesome. What you want to be doing is taking everything out of the Tekkit SMP latest and putting it into the Sfax Pure BD Craft default folder thing and click yes so after you've combined those two it's still called this one and it's still going to be where it's saved which is the downloads folder so you want to get this file and add it to the texture packs just like you would normally with any other Minecraft. There's two options to do that. You can either go texture packs, open the texture pack folder, and then copy it in, or you can do it manually where you type percent app data percent quick roaming. Technic, Tech it, full of tech classic. Then if you open up texture packs, there it is. And 
That's it.